Well, thank you for joining us again. Video number six of the 2019 to 2023 general class question pool that went into effect on July the 1st, 2019. I am your host for this slideshow. My name is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club located in Southern Illinois. This slideshow will begin with sub-element G5 covering electrical principles. First up, G5A, reactance, inductance, capacitance, impedance, and impedance matching. G5A01 says, what is impedance? A, the electrical charge stored in a capacitor. B, the inverse of resistance. C, the opposition to the flow of current in an AC circuit. Or D, the force of repulsion between two similar electric fields. Answer is C, the opposition to the flow of current in an AC circuit. G5A02, what is reactance? A, opposition to the flow of direct current caused by resistance. B, opposition to the flow of alternating current caused by capacitance or inductance. C, a property of ideal resistors in an AC circuits. D, a large spark produced at switch contacts when an inductor is de-energized. Answer B. Opposition to the flow of alternating current caused by capacitance or inductance. G5A03. Which of the following causes opposition to the flow of alternating current in an inductor? A. Conductance. B. Reluctance. C. Admittance. Or D. Reactance. Answer is D. Reactance. G5A04. Which of the following causes opposition to the flow of alternating current in a capacitor? A. Conductance, B. Reluctance, C. Reactance, or D. Admittance. The correct answer is C. Reactance. G5A05. How does an inductor react to AC? A. As the frequency of the applied AC increases, the reactance decreases. B. As the amplitude of the applied AC increases, the reactance increases. C. As the amplitude of the applied AC increases, the reactance decreases. Or D. As the frequency of the applied AC increases, the reactance increases. Answer is D. As the frequency of the applied AC increases, the reactance increases. G5A06. How does a capacitor react to AC? A. As the frequency of the applied AC increases, the reactance decreases. B. As the frequency of the applied AC increases, the reactance increases. C. As the amplitude of the applied AC increases, the reactance increases. Or D. As the amplitude of the applied AC increases, the reactance decreases. Answer is A. As the frequency of the applied AC increases, the reactance decreases. G5A07. What happens when the impedance of an electrical load is equal to the output impedance of the power source, assuming both impedance are resistive? A. The source delivers minimum power to the load. B. The electrical load is shorted. C. No current can flow through the circuit. Or D. The source can deliver maximum power to the load. Answer is D. The source can deliver maximum power to the load. G5A08, what is one reason to use an impedance matching transformer? A, to minimize transmitter power output. B, to maximize transfer of power. C, to reduce power supply ripple. Or D, to minimize radiation resistance. Correct answer is B, to maximize the transfer of power. G5A09, what unit is used to measure reactance? A, a farad. B. Ohm. C. Ampere. Or D. A Simons. Correct answer is B. Ohm. G5A10. Which of the following devices can be used for impedance matching at radio frequencies? A. A transformer. B. A pi network. C. A length of transmission line. Or D. All of these choices are correct. The answer is D. All of these choices are correct. G5A11 says, which of the following describes one method of impedance matching between two AC circuits? A. Insert an LC network between the two circuits. B. Reduce the power output of the first circuit. C. Increase the power output of the first circuit. 
or D. Insert a circulator between the two circuits? Correct answer is A. Insert an LC network between the two circuits. G5B covering the decibel, current and voltage dividers, electrical power calculations, sine wave, root mean square values, and PEP calculations. G5B01, what dB change represents a factor of 2, increase or decrease in power? A, approximately 2 dB. B, approximately 3 dB. C, approximately 6 dB. Or D, approximately 12 dB. Answer is B, approximately 3 dB. G5B02, how does the total current relate to the individual currents in each branch of a purely resistive parallel circuit? A, it equals the average of each branch current. B, it decreases as more parallel branches are added to the circuit. C, it equals the sum of the currents through each branch. Or D, it is the sum of the reciprocal of each individual voltage drop. Answer is C, it equals the sum of the currents through each branch. G5B03, how many watts of electrical power are used if 400 volts DC is supplied to an 800 ohm load? A. 0.5 watts, B. 200 watts, C. 400 watts, or D. 3200 watts? Correct answer is B. 200 watts. G5B04, how many watts of electrical power are used by a 12 volt DC light bulb that draws 0.2 amperes? A. 2.4 watts, B. 24 watts, C. 6 watts, or D. 60 watts? Answer is A, 2.4 watts. G5B05, how many watts are dissipated when a current of 7.0 milliamperes flows through a 1250 ohm resistance? A, approximately 61 milliwatts. B, approximately 61 watts. C, approximately 11 milliwatts. Or D, approximately 11 watts. Answer is A, approximately 61 milliwatts. G5B06, what is the output PEP from a transmitter if an oscilloscope measures 200 volts peak to peak across a 50 ohm dummy load connected to the transmitter output? A, 1.4 watts, B, 100 watts, C, 353.5 watts, or D, 400 watts? Correct answer here is B, 100 watts. G5B07, what value of an AC signal produces the same power dissipation in a resistor as a DC voltage of the same value? A, the peak-to-peak -peak value. B, the peak value. C, the RMS value. Or D, the reciprocal of the RMS value. The answer here is C, the RMS value. G5B08, what is the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of a sine wave with an RMS voltage of 120.0 volts? A, 84.8 volts. B, 169.7 volts. C, 240 volts. Or D, 339.4 volts. Answer here is D, 339.4 volts. G5B09, what is the RMS voltage of a sine wave with a value of 17 volts peak. A, 8.5 volts, B, 12 volts, C, 24 volts, or D, 34 volts? Answer is B, 12 volts. G5B10, what percentage of power loss would result from a transmission line loss of 1 dB? A, 10.9%, B, 12.2%, C, 20.6%, or D, 25.9%? Correct answer here is C, 20.6%. G5B11, what is the ratio of peak envelope power to average power for an unmodulated carrier? A, 0 0.707, B, 1.00, C, 1.414, or D, 2.00? Answer is B, 1.00. G5B12, what would the RMS voltage across a 50 ohm dummy lobe dissipating 1200 watts? 
A. 173 volts B. 245 volts C. 346 volts or D. 692 volts Answer is B. 245 volts G5B13. What is the output PEP of an unmodulated carrier if an average reading watt meter connected to the transmitter output indicates 1060 watts? A. 530 watts B. 1060 watts C. 1500 watts or D. 2120 watts The answer here is B. 1060 watts G5B14, what is the output PEP from a transmitter if an oscilloscope measures 500 volts peak-to-peak -peak across a 50-ohm resistive load connected to the transmitter output? A, 8.75 watts. B, 625 watts. C, 2500 watts. Or D, 5000 watts. Answer here is B, 625 watts. Next up, G5C, covering resistors, capacitors, and inductors in series and parallel, as well as transformers. G5C01, what causes a voltage to appear across the secondary winding of a transformer when an AC voltage source is connected across its primary winding? A. Capacitive coupling. B. Displacement current coupling. C. Mutual inductance. Or D. Mutual capacitance. Answer here is C. Mutual inductance. G5C02, what happens if a signal is applied to the secondary winding of a 4 to 1 voltage step-down transformer instead of the primary winding? A. The output voltage is multiplied by 4. B. The output voltage is divided by 4. C. Additional resistance must be added in series with the primary to prevent overload. Or D. Additional resistance must be added in parallel with the secondary to prevent overload. Correct answer is A. The output voltage is multiplied by 4. G5C03. Which of the following components increases the total resistance of a resistor? A. A parallel resistor. B. A series resistor. C. A series capacitor. Or D. A parallel capacitor. Answer here is B. A series resistor. G5C04. What is the total resistance of 3 100 ohms resistors in parallel. A. 0.30 ohms. B. 0.33 ohms. C. 33.3 ohms. Or D. 300 ohms. Correct answer here. C. 33.3 ohms. G5C05. If three equal value resistors in series produce 450 ohms, what is the value of each resistor? A. 1500 ohms. B. 90 ohms. C. 150 ohms. Or D. 175 ohms. The answer is C. 150 ohms. G5C07. 6. What is the RMS voltage across a 500 turn secondary winding in a transformer if the 2250 turn primary is connected to 120 volts AC? A. 2,370 volts, B. 540 volts, C. 26.7 volts, or D. 5.9 volts. Correct answer is C. 26.7 volts. G5C07. What is the turns ratio of a transformer used to match an audio amplifier having 600 ohm output impedance to a speaker having 4 ohm impedance? A. 12.2 to 1. B, 24.4 to 1, C, 150 to 1, or D, 300 to 1? Correct answer is A, 12.2 to 1. G5, C08, what is the equivalent capacitance of two 5.0 nanofarad capacitors and one 750 picofarad capacitor connected in parallel? A, 576.9 nanofarads, B, 1,733 picofarads, C, 3,583 picofarads, or D, 10.750 nanofarads. Answer is D, 10.750 nanofarads. G5C09, what is the capacitance of three 100 microfarad capacitors connected in series? 
A, 0 0.3 0 mic microfarads, B, 0 0.33 microfarads, C, 33.3 .3 microfarads, or D, 300 microfarads. Correct answer here is C, 33.3 .3 microfarads. G5C10, what is the inductance of three millihenry inductors connected in par parallel? A, 0 0.30 henrys, B, 3.3 henrys, C, 3.3 millihenrys, or D, 30 millihenrys? C, 3.3 millihenrys. G5C11, what is the inductance of 20 millihenry inductor connected in series with a 50 millihenry? Henry inductor A 0 0.07 millihenries B 14.3 millihenries C 70 millihenries or D 1000 millihenries Correct answer is C 70 millihenries G5 C12 what is the capacitance of a 20 microfarad capacitor connected in series with a 50 microfarad capacitor a, 0 0.07 microfarads, B, 14.3 microfarads, C, 70 microfarads, or D, 1,000 microfarads. Correct answer, B, 14.3 microfarads. G5, C13, which of the following components should be added to the capacitor to increase the capacitance? A, an inductor in series. B, a resistor in series. C, a capacitor in parallel. Or D, a capacitor in series. Correct answer is C, a capacitor in parallel. G5C14, which of the following components should be added to an inductor to increase the inductance? A, a capacitor in series. B, a resistor in parallel. C, an inductor in parallel. Or D, an inductor in series. Correct answer is D, an inductor in series. G5C15, which... What is the total resistance of a 10 ohm, a 20 ohm, and a 50 ohm resistor connected in parallel? A. 5.9 ohms. B. 0 0.17 ohms. C. 10,000 ohms. Or D. 80 ohms. Answer is A. 5.9 ohms. G5 C16. Why is the conductor of the primary winding of many voltage step-up transformers larger in diameter than the conductor of the secondary winding? A. To improve the coupling between the primary and secondary. B. To accommodate the higher current of the primary. C. To prevent parasitic oscillations due to resistive losses in the primary. Or D. To ensure that the volume of the primary winding is equal to the volume of the secondary winding. Answer is B. To accommodate the higher current of the primary. G5 C17. What is the value in nanofarads of a 22,000 picofarad capacitor? A, 0 0.22, B, 2.2, C, 22, or D, 220? Answer here, C, 22. G5, C, 18, what is the value in microfarads of a 4700 nanofarad capacitor? A, 47, B, 0 0.47, C, 47,000, or D, 4.7? Correct answer is D, 4.7. And that will conclude video number six. Thank you for joining us. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do that so you're made aware of the newly released videos. Thank you.